my name is Dale Kingsmill and today I am here at the data video booth at VidCon with my good friend Scott Nice Wonder. Hi, I'm that person she said. Yes. This is Scott. He he has a fantastic channel. Oh. NerdSync. Tell us a little bit about NerdSync. Yeah, uh, uh, NerdSync is just really a uh, place if you want to learn about comics. Really, I try to teach through comics. So if you're passionate about learning uh, anything from psychology, philosophy, culture, history, all that stuff, but with comic books, then uh, stop on by. It's, it's honestly, it's a fantastic channel. It's one of my favorites. Go check it out, and we'll remind you to check it out again come the end of the video, because you really should. It's, it's brilliant. Today, uh, what we're going to do Tell is... Tell us what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to be... Uh, the plan is, I'm going to tell you a, a mytho mythological artifact. Sure. And a, a, a superhero themed item, and all you right. have to design a superhero based on those things. All okay. right? And then you can do the same for me. So I want right, you to design a superhero uh, using the winged sandals of Hermes. All right. Of course. Sure. And uh, let's see, let's go with. I want you to use a cape. A cape? Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. So, my turn for you then? Yes. All right, I'm gonna say, because I'm not really great with, uh, with mythology, but I know Thor's a part of that. So yes, I'll say, indeed. you can use Thor's hammer. <gasps> yep. Good old Neil. And uh, something with, uh, I guess, uh, spandex tights. <laughs> like a Ooh. classic superhero. All right, okay, all right then. So, all right, so spandex and Neil. Sure. All right, let's do this, let's right. go. How... We're gonna be drawing. All um, right. Now, while we are drawing, All right. uh, I also thought that we could talk a little bit about, th there has been some discussion mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, around my neck of the woods on the internet right. about uh, how mythology influences comic books and superheroes in a lot of ways. So, I mean, I, I wonder if we could discuss things like what superhero would be which god. All right. Let's not limit ourselves to specific pantheons, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you've got ones, there are a lot of comparisons between uh, Superman and Apollo, aren't there? Lots of sure. sun-based. Wh which one's Apollo? All right, look, this Apollo's is Apollo's the god of the all sun. Right. See, this is how little I know, is <laughs> I have no idea. All right, let me see here. I am really bad at drawing. I don't know about you. <laughs> no, look, I, I got like a it. leg. You got a boot. I got a leg. It's I got like a leg it's, going on here. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, good. it's all right. It, it's working for you. All right, I think it's let's good. see here. All right. I'm not okay. an artist. Yeah, so he's the, he does sun stuff, and then Superman obviously gets his powers from the sun. So, so that's good. I mean, it's always connection. tricky with Apollo because uh, he's one of two Greek gods who basically just got all of the leftovers. Yeah. All of the leftovers. He and Hermes, it was like, well, I mean, we need someone to be a god of robbers, I guess. I mean, they exist. There has to be a god for them, so I mean... What's it gonna be? And Hermes ended up being god of anyone who uses the road, anyone at all ah. who has ever used a road. Which I mean, That's, uh, I mean, so, so if he was around before roads were invented, oh yeah, what would that be like? I mean, I don't know. What would he do? He's a probably god. nothing, right? Maybe I would he assume. didn't exist before roads were invented. Maybe probably. that's when he. Came into Unless roads predate I mean, life, was added to the pantheon quite late. Yeah. Actually, who would be the messenger god of superheroes? Actually, I know the answer already. That's a silly question. Uh, let's see, Mopey. I'm gonna say Mopey. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking uh, the Flash. Flash, yeah. But actually, I like your answer better. <laughs> All right, it's, let's see it's here. a nice uh, difference. Oh man, I um, I was talking with someone earlier today about whether Batman would be Anubis. Yeah. You know, it's got a nice uh, depressing God of the Dead vibe going on. Oh, what am I doing? I don't it's know what I'm me. doing. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I got like the lower portion, but I don't have. I I can't go. I don't know what to do from here. <laughs> It's fine. You can do it. But I, all right, let's do a cape. I'm just gonna cover the whole rest of them in a cape, right? Because ah, that's clever. Because that was part of the thing. Perfect. That's a good system, actually. I wish I had thought ahead. Oh no, I can't do that. I usually rely so heavily on um, on like wrinkles in fabric when I'm yeah. drawing because that's just easy 
need to draw. But yeah. if it's spandex, I can't do that. That's right. Oh, no. Okay. Take that. Right. Um, I found your weakness. Oh, I found no. your kryptonite, <laughs> some might say. Your Achilles heel. Oh, <laughs> did we really just do that? That's We're right. the worst people <laughs> ever. But uh, I like it. I like it. We've done some good puns just now. All right. I'm trying we've to had a lot of laughs today. <laughs> but let's really drive it home, guys. <laughs> oh boy. So this, this is, is important stuff that we're dealing with right now. I need to give do. her a I'm mask. Make this some sort of cloak, I guess. Um, we're gonna have to know the backstories of these superheroes as well, by the way. Yeah. Okay. All right. I don't have any backstory for mine. Uh, she's. Uh, what's she gonna be like? She's gonna be. Um, going to be a happy person, I just decided, as I drew All right. a smile. Sure. Um, <laughs> uh, what's her symbol going to be? I don't know. Um, a hammer in a circle is taken by Captain Hammer. Um, uh, she can have... Uh, uh, what's another like strong symbol? Like, oh, strength and, uh, and power. Um, well, uh, I don't an know. elephant is going to Yes, be an elephant. Simple. The powerful elephant. Yeah, and its trunk is going to be up because that means it's good luck if its trunk is up. Okay, yep, elephant. Symbol of strength and memory. All right. Naturally. This is coming together. Excellent. Um, I'm going to make it a diamond background for that. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'm like drawing so many lines right now. I don't know what they mean anymore. Uh, I'm just filling it all in. Uh, I don't know what her slogan black. is going to be. Uh, something about memory now that there's an elephant. Um, uh, uh, the, um, oh no. Oh no. Why is this so hard? I didn't expect this to be so hard. Let's see. Uh, Memories and elephants and... Uh, let's see. Uh, Remember about, all. She's probably like the best witness in court. Sure. Um, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm just doing shading. While I know, I'm, me too. I just, <laughs> just drawn stuff, hoping you know, it looks okay. This is, it's good. It's good. All right. Okay. I need a name for my character too. Oh no. Uh oh. I'm going to say, all right, here we go. Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. Um, Let's see. My person runs really quickly and has a cape. No, wait. What do the boots do? Do they just help them fly? Or uh, it makes you go faster. It makes, makes you, you go fly. faster. Okay. And, here we and go. you can fly with them, yes. Sure. So. Um, all right. Um, I don't the, even know how to spell the, this word. I'm going to guess. Uh, okay. The elephant. The something elephant. The. Um, the majestic elephant. The majestic elephant. The the scarlet. The crimson elephant. The crimson. Yeah, the, um, it's still easy. Just do a color. It's always good with a color, yeah, right? Sure. I mean, how many superheroes must have colors at the beginning of the name? Probably a handful, at least. The emerald elephant gets some nice uh, alliteration going. Yeah, it's got the, e. the emerald elephant. Not that you can see the color on this picture. Oh no! <laughs> I just got a bunch of. Okay, that wasn't thought out by me. All, All right. right. Okay. The emerald elephant. Uh, All right. Dot, I've, dot, I'm dot, because I've run out of space. There you go. Uh, never underlined forgets a crime. That's what I'm going with. That's it. Perfect. That's the whole thing. Perfect. Never forgets a crime. All right. Da, da, da. Excellent. That's it. That's that's my superhero. I think I'm gonna leave it there and draw a symbol further down here. Woo! That was my elephant noise. Woo! Sounds perfect. You know, I have no reference to what an elephant sounds like, so I think I'm gonna take your word so, on I that mean, one. Yeah, that's. I I'm glad that you've never heard an elephant because honestly, um, I don't think it would hold up. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's, All right. I'm, I'm about to done. Lines. You're done. Yes. All right. Okay. He has all a right. catchphrase that doesn't make any sense, but all right. Well, I mean, <laughs> what do okay, we got? We're revealing. This is yes. You did so much better than me, <laughs> though. I can't draw for anything. <laughs> I like yours. It's good. It's got a clo 
cloak. It's so it's so exciting. I basically just tried to do Moon Knight plus, plus the, yeah. the wings. I like it. Fight Fight or flight or flight. <laughs> I choose both. I don't know what that means. Um, I but mean, I figured he's fighting, he while flying. flying. Yeah, I the guess. Winged Avenger. That's sure. a great superhero. I like it. All right. He's got. <laughs> he's had the shoes bestowed on him by Hermes himself. Naturally. Uh, yep. Yeah, this is this is the Emerald Elephant who never forgets a crime. Uh, she. I, I don't know how she ended up with the Hammer of Thor. If, no. Because I mean, where you do you get elephants? I right? didn't yeah. think this through because the. Yeah. Mjolnir is from Norse, and it traveled, elephants are I mean, what, it just Indian and to African. Earth, and then it landed there. And yeah, then and then, sure. oh, oh, it was found by an elephant who bestowed it on her. Yes. Um, and uh, it, I don't know, she witnessed the elephant die or something. It's like a tragic backstory that also makes no sense. Sure. And uh, she got the memory of an elephant, and she has... Of course. Yeah, now Naturally. she has an eidetic memory and the hammer of Thor. <laughs> That's what I'm sticking with. All right, I uh, love it. Yep. I love it. Ah, well done. Well done, us. I'm proud of these. We're gonna have to make a comic book soon, uh, starring mm. these two. <laughs> someone, someone will do some fan art that's probably better than mine. That, that yeah. would be spectacular. Take that, make it better. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me, Scott. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hope this was more fun than traumatizing. <laughs> um, uh, brought an equal mixture of both, I think. Well, I mean, that's that's pretty decent in the end. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Don't forget to go and check out Scott on NerdSync yeah. and see all his excellent comic book based videos. You do that. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel here, subscribe to his channel over at NerdSync, uh, hit the like, share it on the social media, all of those things. Uh, thank you once again to Data Video for letting us use all of their equipment. Yeah. That's how we have this fancy, this fancy Look background. It. See it? It's so it's exciting. Menacing. Uh, Thank you very much to Data Video. Uh, for now, I do believe that that's it. I am done. Don't forget to email this to your grandma and I will see you guys some other time. <laughs>